Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make your own knife bevel grinding jig. Now grinding jigs come in a variety of different designs. Most of them are either welded or bolted together metal. Uh, most clamp the knife blade to the jig and have an adjustable screw that adjusts the angle uh, that the bevel is going to be ground on. Uh, some of these require quite a little bit of work uh, to make the, the jig itself. So what I'd like to show you today is how to make a very easy uh, bevel jig. Now this is not a jig for the professional knife maker. This is the jig for somebody that's just starting out or a hobbyist that wants to make an occasional knife. And I'm just going to use a piece of 4x4 uh, in order to create a jig that will end up uh, allowing you to grind perfectly straight bevels on almost any knife. Now we're going to start with a, with a 4x4 and very simple. I'm just going to cut two cuts into that 4x4 with a table sword so that you end up with a you know about a quarter inch or a 3 sixteenths um, shelf and the spine of the knife can rest on that shelf. You can see here, in addition to that I also drilled a hole through uh, the back side. That bolt bolt I believe is going to hold that block at an angle and that angle can be adjusted by either you know screwing that bolt in further or or taking it out the further you screw it in the deeper um, or the more severe the, the uh, bevel angle is going to be and basically we're going to be able to put the knife in grind one side and then move the knife to the other side to grind the bevel on the opposite side or the other side of the blade now you could rig up a clamp, um, I just kind of hand hold it um, against the block. Um, in order to start out, and I, I've already done this on this knife, so I'm just going to illustrate it on the, uh, on the handle. But in order to start out, I usually take um, a marker and just put some, um, some blue or red marker um, onto, the, onto the blade, and I'm going to mark the center line. So all you do is you take a drill that's the same diameter as the material, the thickness of the material that you're using, and the center point of the drill, when run along a flat surface, is going to create um, a line that runs right down the center of your blade. You can use that mark visually as you're grinding the knife. So as you're doing each side, you're not going to want to pass that line. Actually, you want to stay a little bit away from it. Um, you want to do the final sharpening after the knife is, is heat treated. So now I'm, I'm holding the knife against that block and I'm just running back and forth. This, this, um, this jig works really well, uh, mostly on, on one or two inch uh, belt sanders. The four inch belt sanders, most of them have a, a, a wall on either side of the belt and you, you really can't make the plunge in very well. But here you can see uh, that bevel starting to take shape. It's just a matter of being consistent. You want to hold the block uh, firmly down in the front uh, and also on that bolt so that it holds a consistent angle. All Really all about consistency here. You want to make the plunge in and then grind consistently along the blade. And the whole time you're doing that, you're watching uh, that center line to make sure that you're not um, grinding too far on either side of that blade. Here very quickly you can see that that bevel is starting to take shape. So one side is you know, pretty much done. And the beauty of this jig is then you just flip it over, lay the knife on the opposite side, and now you can continue to grind away. And this process, of course, varies in time depending on, on the size of the knife and the thickness of the blade. But you'll find that once you're able to grind a straight bevel, your knives just look so much, so much nicer, the finished product. And that's basically it, a very simple, easy to make knife bevel grinding jig. Now please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.